Let's look at problem solving a written problem in two steps using addition and subtraction. We have to identify what the problem is from the writing, so we might need to read it a couple of times. When we do need to solve it, it helps to find out what we know from the information we've been given and then what we need to know or what we're trying to work out. So Noah's collecting baseball cards and he buys 24 cards. Now he's pretty happy with his cards except that he's found there's some doubles. But he's decided to give those away to his friend Jason. So five cards, which are his doubles, are going to be given away. The good news though is his friend Alan also has some double, so he's going to give those to Noah. So let's look at what we know. Well, we know that Noah starts with 24 cards and you can see the picture at the bottom of the screen. That's his 24 cards. He gives away five cards and we know he also receives three cards. So let's look at what we need to find out. Well, we need to find out how many cards Noah ends up with and we don't need to know Jason or Alan's card total at the end. We don't care what they've got. So let's look at our first step. Noah starts with 24 cards and he gives away 5. So we're subtracting 5 from Noah's total. 24 minus 5 equals 19. So let's, what, let's see what happens at the end of the first step. Noah had 24. He had 5 cards that were given away. So at the end of the first step, he's got 19 cards. When we go to our second step, we use that 19 because that's what Noah has now. And now he's given three cards. So we're going to add three onto Noah's total. 19 plus three equals 22. So Noah had 19 cards at the start of the second step. Then we added three more to make 22. In this example, we're going to be looking at saving and spending. Lisa's selling lemonade for a fundraiser and her first lemonade store raised $45. Her parents were pretty proud of her, so they donated another $25. However, once she paid back her parents for the lemonade supplies, she was left with $50. How much did the lemonade supplies cost? This one's a bit different. Let's look at what we do know. We know that Lisa sold $45 of lemonade. She received $25 more from her parents. And then after her costs were deducted, she had $50 left. So let's see at the start, Lisa sold $45. She then received $25 from her parents. So we can add that to our 45. 45 plus 25 equals 70. So at the end of our first step, Lisa has $70. She now though has to pay for her supplies and we don't know how much she has to pay for her supplies. But we do know that after she's paid for her supplies, she'll have $50 left to donate to charity. So 70 subtracting her costs will leave her with 50. So what are we subtracting from 70 to get 50? Well, 70 subtract 20 gives us 50. So for this question, the second part is that Lisa has to have $70, take away 20 to get 50. She had $70 after her parents gave her some money. She took $20 off to pay for her lemonade and she was left with 50. So our missing figure is $20. The supplies cost $20.